Hey, eighth grade. So today's video is going to last you until Monday, April 6th. You're going to keep doing the things that I talk about in this video for each one of the simple machine slides. Um, and it should take you until Monday, April 6th, if you don't work on the weekend. So yesterday we picked out two of the simple machines and we wrote down the definition. We used quotation marks if it was a direct quote, if we didn't add any of our own words from our own brain to it. And we cited our website with a one or with a two that matches our works cited slide right here. Now I've already started working on my third um, simple machine. So I'm just gonna go down the list. You can choose whichever simple machine you want, but I started working on the third class lever and I found when I looked at this article that class lever has the effort applied between the fulcrum and the resistance. Now, I didn't start at the beginning of my sentence. There's more to this quote to the start and more to this quote at the finish. So instead, I use con continuation dots at the beginning and end of my quote. And then this is a new website. So I need to number it with a number three. And I went down to my works cited slide and where it says number three, that is this website right here. Okay. So now that I'm done with this website, I can put this uh, web address in MLA format later. Um, I'm going to go to the next slide. Sorry. I was frozen. The next slide, which talks about fixed pulleys. So I really like this website. A fixed pulley is one in which the drum is secured to a single spot. So I highlight it and then I copy and paste it into my slide. They're putting quotation marks. Now this is a completely different website. So I'm going to do shift nine, four, shift zero, and to get my parentheses there. And then I'm going to come to my work cited slide. And where it says number four, I am going to put in this web address because this is where I got it from. So control C is copy. Control V is paste. And now I'm starting to get my work cited section. I'll, I will um, change this to MLA format later after Monday, April 6th. So this is what you're doing for the rest of your slide presentation. You're going to find definitions. You're going to use quotation marks if it's not your words. And you're going to add numbers and then match those numbers in your work cited section. All right, guys, that's it. This is the last video for a little while, and if you need help, come to my office hours, or please email me or uh, contact me any way you can. I'll help you. Bye.